What's up, I Like Scary Man? We are back. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having an awesome day. It feels great to be a horror fan, you all. Man, today we're talking some Halloween ends theories. And this theory is so wild. It literally has my brain tangled. And I'm like, wow, because it makes sense. But it's just that wild. So, shout out to Scott. His name is Scott. He has a channel. I will put his... Uh, link to his channel in the description you guys check it out definitely check your video out you definitely make a lot of sense man so this is his theory but i just want to tell you guys my thoughts on it so he's saying you guys what if michael has a sibling and ends but not just any sibling hawkins he has hawkins as a sibling and ends man and i know it sounds like oh what the hell like it's just like wow what the fuck like but it does make sense let me explain you guys so we know that in the past few films that Michael and Lori were siblings, brother and sister and stuff like that. But David Gordon Green said they don't want to focus on that with this trilogy. They made it a point to say that, right? So what if they just try to switch things up a little bit and make it seem that Michael was brothers with Hawkins? But And this explains a lot of the stuff that I've always said. And it kind of makes sense. You know how I always say it's like Michael shuts off and he just walks away. But every time he walks away, who is he dealing with, you guys? He's dealing with Officer Hawkins. So, listen, man, listen, listen. So, what if... Because we didn't see Hawkins in the 78 film. He just came about. We didn't see him. So, it was like he just came about, right? So... It was like, what if he was just in the back, like, you know, he was playing a backfield of Halloween, right? They just plant this out. He was playing a backfield of Halloween, right? So, this explains why every freaking time Hawkins gets his hands on Myers, he, he misses the shot. It's probably not that Hawkins can't shoot. Maybe he misses that shot on purpose because he knows that Michael is his family and, you know, it's his only brother and he doesn't want to lose him. You know, that's why you remember that scene in a flashback scene and he's running. He said, Michael, stop. He shoots and he just chases. He chases him, right? And he's upstairs, right? They go to the Myers house. He has his partner. His partner, he jumps, he jumps out and, you know, he jumps out and he's choking Myers, right? I mean, Myers is choking his partner. And Hawkins is like, come on, Michael. Like, he's talking to him, like, almost like. You know, he knows him, kind of, like, if you think about it, he's like, come on, Michael, and he shoots his partner, right? I think that Hawkins sh shot his partner on purpose, you know, possibly, and that is basically, you know, what Sh Scott was saying, and now that he's saying that, it switched, I've been saying that, basically, like, why does Michael just clicks off like a switch when it comes to, like, certain situations, he just walks away into the darkness, so Scott kind of cleaned it up, man, shout out to him, and it's like, bro, I'm starting to think that what if Hawkins shot his partner in the neck on purpose, and to thank you guys, any other time, if you think about it, Michael kills everyone in his face. He doesn't, you know, he's gave Hawkins so many chances, man. He's gave, he's gave Hawkins so many chances. So after he shoots his partner, you know, Michael is walking down the stairs, right? He's just shooting the wall. You have so clear, so like, you know, the clear of a shot to, to hit this man. You're missing, right? So Dr. Loomis comes up and it's like, wow, it's almost like Michael Dan kill you. Did Michael kill again? Did he kill again? It's like, bro, he he, kill, he kills everyone, so he didn't kill you. You know, now it's like, man, it's starting to come together, kind of, and I'm starting to think, this is not confirmed. A lot of people might not be fans of this, and a lot of people might think it's bullshit, but, bro, I'm for it. I'm on a train for this because it is crazy when you think about it, man, because just, okay, he, he missed the shot, right? And he shot his partner. He went outside. He's talking to the other cop like, yeah, you know, just it's like he, 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 he feels bad because he know what he's done. And he's the and that's why, you know, I feel like, you know how they said Hawkins could have killed him, but he didn't. He could he could have killed him, but he didn't. So it was like, think of this, you guys. Think, think of it. Freaking Michael. When they were in the, in the Halloween Kills, they're talking to Lori in the bed, Hawkins, they were talking, right? He's like, he's just a little boy. He's trying to make Michael seem, you know, innocent, kind of like, you know. And he's like, this is all my fault. How is it your fault, Hawkins? Okay, we understand that you let Michael free. And why do you feel so guilty, man, you know? And, and you know, it's like every time you're the one to get Michael. You, you're the one to really take him out. 
but you always miss. It's like you can't miss that many times, you know. And back to Julian's house where, you know, after he kills Vicky and stuff like that, Michael walks out, he misses again. He's like, Michael, same thing. He it's like he knows him, like they have a history. It's like, Michael, and he shoots, boom, 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 he misses. Michael, it's like Michael doesn't want to touch him either. It's like, it's because it's like, maybe because it's Michael's only family. He's just walking down the stairs. He doesn't even glance up at him. He just goes, you know. He shoot, Lori shoots him. He's just like, it's dedicated. Like, he doesn't want to get, like, be around Hawkins, you know. Even when, in 2018, where, you know, Dr. Sartain stabs Hawkins in the neck, you know. It's kind of like... Man, it's weird when you think about this. I'm still going to put his motherfucking brains out. Hawkins, so it's like Hawkins is probably feeling it now around that time like you know what man I'm just tired of this and he's killed and so now I'm trying to kill him and that's why you know I feel like with kills he was trying to explain it more almost leaning towards his guilt and telling Lori like you know but bro this theory is out of this world wow I feel like this can definitely work you just have to tell it right and clean it up a little more so we won't be scratching our head in the theaters but if you do it right it definitely will explain at least that that little section where Michael just walks out of nowhere he just leaves he doesn't even want to deal with Hawks I'm like bro it's almost like sometimes you know you if you're a fan of the channel you guys you know in the sub of the channel you know I've always played with this theory like bro why does he always just like walk away from Hawkins like he always walk away from Officer Hawkins. It's like he doesn't even try to kill him. I like even after he knows Hawkins missed or whatever, he doesn't try to charge at him. He leaves him alone. So it's something there now that Scott, shout out to you again, man. You putting this out there. It's something definitely between them that it you you got you can't put your finger on. And I'm hoping now that I'm maybe that will be the, the case in Halloween ends that they're siblings and you know Michael. And Hawkins, they go back to 78, and he was just in the backfield. Hawkins in the backfield. Remember, they were talking to him, the cop, cop, you know. I heard Michael used to pick the wings off butterflies, and Hawkins was kind of like, yeah, you know, whatever he said. But it was kind of like, bro, now that I think about it, it's kind of like Hawkins has been playing the backfield for real. Like, kind of saving him along the way. When you think about it, now you break it down like that. You missed the shot twice. You had him on the, you didn't do it. You didn't do it. You, you know what I'm saying? You didn't do it. He was like... And you were just, and now it's hunting you because you are the reason that this man, his, he's killing the boogeyman. And I will not be surprised in Halloween ends if they explain this, you guys. If they explain that they are siblings and, and maybe that's why Hawkins is so big on taking them out. Because like, I did this to you guys. I should have told you guys that this was my brother and with the, the history and stuff like that. And maybe that's why they show kind of show Myers a little like I don't know if you think about it, James Jude like you won't see his face for he kind of does resemble you know the Hawkins image a little bit maybe that's OD right there maybe that's what I'm just saying but yeah man it, this is crazy now that I think about it because why did you miss that shot you even missed the shot in the alley it's like what, what what's going on man what, what's going on Hawkins man you got some explaining to do you're looking and I can see I can see Blumhouse just switching switching that you know that that freaking, you know, theory with them being siblings to it being Hawkins, you know, instead of Lori, because we're, we're so used to seeing Lori, and it was kind of like weird seeing that was her sibling, but it kind of completes it with Hawkins being it, you know, because at the end of the day, you guys, before I end this off, it is a reason they kept Hawkins. It's a reason this man got stabbed in the neck with a scalpel and ran over by a car and still survived. And it's a reason why he opened up the Lori in that bed when it's just her one on one. And I feel like she, as they grow closer, almost like H2O when she was dating that guy, how she had that theory. She was like, I, you know, how she was like an H2O. She was like, I'm Lori Strode. That's my real name. I feel like Hawkins could do something like that. You know, I think I could see him doing that, opening up to Lori, saying like, you know, that that's my brother. I just wanted to tell you. And she's probably like, bullshit. And he's like, yeah, you know, and it becomes some type of fan service, you know. So... I think that could possibly happen. It will be wild. It'll probably it'll be like a wow moment in the theaters. Um, but that still doesn't explain my, Michael. We just know that he has a brother, and I mean it does lead on to the situation of Haddonfield and just the story of Michael Myers because you kind of could have killed him, but you didn't want to because in the beginning you felt sympathy because it's your family and that's your brother, and you wanted to let him live because you felt for him, kind of, even though he's a killer. You, Hawkins kind of felt for him in, like, an innocent way and saw uh, the family side of Michael. And, you know, it, it, bro, comment down below what you guys think. What's the explanation for Michael 
getting away from Hawkins and not attacking Hawkins. And Hawkins letting them do it. Hawkins missing the shot on purpose. Do you guys think this is the case? Uh, definitely, man. Let us get, let us know in the comments. I like scary. I, I definitely want to know, man. And um, this is a crazy video, man. To think about it, my mind is still blown off this. Uh, Scott, you, bro, we, what you put together right here is, it is very clean, man. But um, you guys, this is the end of the video. Definitely check me out on my social media. I like scary on Instagram. I like scary seven seven on TikTok. Brandon Allen on Facebook. I like scary on Twitter. Don't forget, you guys, become a member of the Patreon to get exclusive content and benefits of the channel. And don't forget, you guys, right there where it says subscribe. Next to it says join. You can become a member of the channel. Get a nice little badge next to your name in the chat. And you can get exclusive benefits like private watch parties, you name it. And don't forget to check out the merch store, you guys. It has some awesome things over there for I Like Scary. And yeah, you all, watch some horror movies. Stay scary out there. I love you all. Peace.